Hi, this is Junaid. I wanted to give a video testimonial to the review course that I recently attended, Artificial Intelligence in Medicine. This was offered by American Board of Artificial Intelligence in Medicine, and I'm very grateful to have attended this course. For the simple ones who really want to know on the fence if they want to attend this course, this is fantastic. Stop this video. Go ahead and sign up for the course. It is great value for the money. For those who want some more details, I'll just go ahead and share more. Number one and the most important thing about this course is its comprehensiveness. There are people like me who have done some clinical decision support work, some computer vision work, but this putting all these pieces that artificial intelligence covers into under one course is just breathtakingly fantastic. And the way it was presented was really good. I understand this is not intermediate or even advanced level. It is even designed for a beginner introductory level, but to cover all of that under, under 16 hours within the two day frame time frame period was just very good because you get all this done uh, and from for a person like me who reads a lot in these uh, technologies this was a very good revision and uh, the way it was curated was also very beautiful uh, the faculty is amazing and the 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 playfulness the banter that they uh, support each other was also very good to see because they are very humble and they actually project that as well so given that i would just go ahead and tell you that they also gave me permission to use their first name, so I'm going to call them with my first name. But, you know, I, I'm in the habit of calling Dr. Chang, Dr. Myers, etc. But they said, use their first name, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So Anthony presented the first portion of the first day in which he talked about the evolution of artificial intelligence, its history, and then went into the data science and artificial intelligence in the current era. Uh, gave some basic working knowledge of things and then passed it on to Alfonso, who actually took it to the next level. He discussed all the different models of uh, artificial intelligence, uh, how they function, what are random forests, what are support vector machines, etc. When to do the details about it, it's for applicable to medicine as well, and giving examples on the way. While they were doing that, Dr. Uh, Bob was actually grateful, meaningful insights in between about practical data related artificial intelligence questions so his insight was very good to hear and and the way they were presenting together was also very good uh, similarly mary was actually fantastic she's from georgia uh, tech uh, institute of, uh, and teaches masters in uh, data sciences she did a phenomenal job in in interjecting wisdom wherever it needs to be so this was very good to see uh, this beautiful interaction between the faculty while they're presenting us with this comprehensive course the two different uh, tangents I suppose are were one with Arlene Myers who is basically wrote the book on um, digital health entrepreneurship very prolific you should follow him on linkedin and twitter he did a very good interactive session to actually make sure that we also understand not just the artificial intelligence in healthcare the core topics from an academic perspective but actually have a pathway to go to market to have a thinking of entrepreneurship how to make these things applicable in a market level so that was great to hear from him and sarah did a fantastic talk on ethics in ai and this was very great because I mean, she, she'd won the lottery of the topic because everyone's so interested in the ethics. But either way, the way she presented, and especially her last two papers that I read after the presentation, uh, is a must read for anyone who is actually interested in ethics and AI. Uh, other faculty members, especially Dr. Boyko, also pre presented in between some very beautiful small nuggets of uh, wisdom through his practical work in artificial intelligence. So very good, uh, very grateful for that. And one last person, I think this was the most smoothest course that was done that I've ever seen. I've attended a lot of courses, been a faculty on a few of them. Um, the way Miyajan conducted this, I think she's the best course director I've ever seen. Uh, it was very smooth and without any hiccups. So glad to see that this course was done so beautifully and managed so accurately. These are the three books that are a must read, Intelligence-Based Medicine. I've gone through about 60% of the book, Introduction to Biomedical Data Science. I've ordered it. It's on my reading list. And Digital Health Entrepreneurship is my daily reading uh, because I have to read, read read multiple chapters. Again, entrepreneurship is a skill that you have to develop. So not only you have to read it, you have to reread it again and again. Um, the most valuable lessons from this course were that learning is an evolving field in general, but artificial intelligence is such an evolving field that you have to be vigilant, continuously learn, 
be patient and and you know and i learned some more humility from the faculty because being at their level they were very open to admit okay this is an evolving field uh this is something that we really need to look at into the future etc so that was great to see and then another thing everyone wants to do the model work but nobody wants to do the data work and which is very important this is actually a, a recent article from google research you should read in the and there's a youtube video that i linked below it, it it is very important again to the the velocity of data the variety of data and the quality of data needs to be considered and because the better that is your models will be more accurate and once your models are accurate they can be generalized and not overfitting to the particular situation you have trained them so it's great to see that and then of course ai is a team sport so you're working with you know uh, data scientists modeling experts clinicians subject matter expertise if you're doing it in radiology you want to uh, talk to some you know imaging engineers etc so uh, this was some of the lessons that i think are are important for life in general but i mean it very is important for artificial in health artificial intelligence and healthcare as an evolving field um the price is fantastic i mean it is way worth the price i mean for six hundred dollars i'm actually uh, potentially going to take the certification too so i bought that package but either way for you get a lot it includes 16 hours of cme as well if you're not intending to get the certification even then you should take the course because uh, as i said you may know artificial intelligence even at an intermediate level. I know it. I've done some statistics. I've done some research paper. But the question really is to put them all together into a comprehensive two-day uh, valuable. And maybe also that you're taking time off to do it. It's great. But either way, I think this is amazingly comprehensive presentation within 16 hours. So way were well worth the money. Uh, is this only for physicians? No, there are about 60% of them are physicians, but there's a reasonable amount of people who are non-physicians. So that's where the community cohort perspective comes in. I gave some feedback and I didn't realize that Anthony told me that he's already working on an intermediate course to increase these to include these two important feedbacks. Workshop on just going through a data science project all the way to modeling. So he's already working on it. As a matter of fact, Dr. Hoyt, Bob already conducts an MI, MI Society every Saturday, every first Saturday of the month um, do a data science project. So he's doing that. I attended the first one recently. Uh, great job and he just goes through that um, process of how to clean data and then prepare it for modeling, etc. So that whole workshop is going to be planned in the future courses. And the second workshop I requested, which is again in the making, is to critically appraise a published article. The issue is that there are so many models and then there are so many flat flavors in the model. So everyone has recipes and then they change their own recipes according to their willing. So artificial intelligence and evolving field. So to critically appraise an article and to understand its true limitations, um, I think it's very important for us to actually, you know, have a complete workshop to actually go through these articles and then make sure that we are understanding it appropriately because that's one of my beef and that's why I started AI NeuroCare is to actually have to email the author and find out, okay, why didn't you choose this? Why did you choose this? What are the limitations, etc. So to critically appraise an article is extremely important because these are going to be applied for your patients and you are the your, it's your job as a physician to make sure that whatever technologies are also applied towards your patient, you are understanding them and applying them appropriately because these are all tools. I think the only one thing I would say is that the community aspect could be a little better. I suppose there should be a LinkedIn group with all the cohorts involved from, from cohort one to cohort four. I was in cohort four. So we have like-minded people gathering together, you know, looking at different projects, pro sharing project updates, sharing some resources, etc. Or actually, you know, like for example, if there is something I'm doing, there's no replication of work. So I think a community, uh, maybe a LinkedIn group, maybe, I don't know, a Telegram group, whatever uh, the process could be. But I think it's important that the community aspect through this course should be given a little bit more value as well. Again, I'm very grateful for the course uh, being offered, and I would suggest anyone and everyone to take part in this course. If you save a life, it is as if you, you would save the life of all mankind. Thank you so much.